spent the night in Bangor. He'd gone there for supplies. In the excitement of events, I forgot that I myself had told him to go there when he had time. No, he had no idea she was dead. He was extremely shocked. Yes, of course, you may speak to him whenever you like, but I feel that he is a most unlikely suspect. You will have to look elsewhere to find the fiend who murdered my wife. Gregory, I have never been so honored in my whole life. What do you mean, my dear? To save me, you let your wife's murderer go free. I had no choice. Do you think Minerva would have understood? I am sure of it. She was a very understanding woman. Now, I must speak with Tim. You may come in now, Tim. I have finished speaking with Miss Collins and with the police. What, uh, what did you tell them? I told them that everything is all right. You spent that night in Bangor where you had gone for supplies. When they question you, you will tell them that, I trust. Gladly. And then you will leave Worthington Hall. Even more gladly. Do you think Mr. Hanley will still help me find a job? I wouldn't uh, talk to him if I were you. Then perhaps I should speak to Miss Collins. After all, I obviously do need a new position. Timothy, why don't you leave this part of the country? There are many places you could go. The world is wide for a young man. Uh, I think Collinsport is world enough for me just now. I don't think it should be too much trouble for Miss Collins to arrange a place for me. Mr. Edward handles the hiring. But I'm not the usual applicant. I'm industrious, well-educated, ambitious. Besides, I have an exceptionally good memory. I will speak to Mr. Edward. Oh, you'll speak to Mr. Edward, huh? Well, I've already spoken to Mr. Edward. And he told me Dirk is dead. And he never even asked him anything about my pansy. Carl, Edward was never in any position to ask Dirk anything. He could have asked him something. If he wasn't selfish. Like everyone else in this family. Oh, what do any of you care about my pansy, whether she's imprisoned or, or dying of thirst or hunger, or even if she's dead? Oh, no, she can't be dead. She can't be dead. Carl, I don't want to hear another word about pansy. Do you understand? Not another word. But... Not another word. There has been a terrible tragedy. What happened? Rachel Drummond is dead. There was a search party out combing the woods for the vampire. Someone heard her moving around and uh, shot before they saw who it was. Oh, who did it? We don't even know that. Uh, I found the poor child dying. I took her to the old house. The old house? Yes, it was the nearest place to go for help. But she was beyond help. No, no. Uh, as you can see, your sister is most upset. We must put our shoulders together and bear the burden for her. Yes, of course. Well, what, what, what must we do? I shall call the police and tell them to go to the old house. And when the police have been told what's happened, I want her brought back here. And she'll be buried immediately. I don't want any time wasted. Are you feeling all right, Judith? I, I told you, she's... Uh, most upset. Rachel was very dear to her. Well, then why does she act as if she died of the plague? Uh, I mean, why does she want her buried uh, immediately? Oh, the poor child had no family, no one on earth. Why should we delay in putting her to rest? Oh, yes, but I still don't understand the rush. Why don't you and Tim go to the old house and wait for the police? The sooner started, the sooner ended. You must be more cautious, Judith. Even Carl was suspicious. I know. I'm sorry. I tried to. But I, I, I couldn't. Yes, you can. You can do anything. 
I have supreme faith in Judith Collins. We'll have the service this afternoon. Yes, as soon as I've spoken with the police. Thank you, Gregory. It's very difficult for me, even now, you know, to, to realize that she's gone. It seems, it seems almost as though I myself had died. Yes, were you uh, close? Once. Once we were very close. Well, I don't believe it. What? I don't believe she died by accident. Why do you say that? There have been just too many accidents happening around here. Huh. And nobody explains them well enough for old Carl's satisfaction. Well, my pansy, she didn't disappear just by accident. Your... I know that. Your fiancé. My missing. Yes, fiancé. And I'm going to the police about my pansy, all right? You see, I, I, I would have mentioned it to them before, but... Uh, well, I prefer not doing it when my sister is around. Oh, my pansy, she's a... Wonderful girl. She's beautiful and refined and cultured. You see, she's English. And she's just disappeared. Oh, let's let's get back to Carlton Wood. Yes. yes. Oh, huh? I'll I'll join you in a moment. I'm looking for. Who, who, who are you looking for? Oh, I have so little time. I must find him. Barnabas? Barnabas Collins? Is that who you're looking for? I must keep looking. Carl! 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 Whoa. Carl! What, what's Whoa, the there's, matter? There's a very strange woman in there. What do you mean? She just came from out of nowhere and she's walking around asking. For what? It's, it's Pansy! I... Pansy! Pansy, my darling! My darling! Oh, Pansy, where are you? Pansy! But my Pansy! Oh, Pansy! 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 at night, alone with the dead, unless you're dead too. Reverend Trass took you to your house, but you weren't there. No, I wasn't. She died almost immediately. She had no chance. She should never have come to Collingwood. She should have gone any place in the world but here, any place. Barnabas, I, I know how fond you were of her. We all were. Judith, why do we destroy the people we love? I don't see why you say that. The girl died in a tragic accident. It was no accident. 
I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you the sad news. And I'm sorry you weren't here for the service. Well, I'm sorry too, but it couldn't be avoided. Well, it was a very beautiful service, if that's any comfort to you. Thank you, Jim. Mother. Rachel is dead. Oh. Oh, she had death in her hand. From the moment she met me, she did. You, you want to tell me how it happened? Judith said that she was shot. They called it an accident. They don't know who did it. You, you want me to look at the cards and, and see if I can see what happened? There's no need for that. I know who killed her. Who? Oh. I was as responsible for her death as if I had shot the gun myself. Why do you say that? Because I was. She would be alive now if it weren't for me. No. No, I tell you, there was, there was death in her hand. I saw it. I saw it a long time ago. If I hadn't failed her. What? The same way as I had with every woman I ever loved. By being what I am. Well, you're, you're back sooner than I expected. What does that mean? Good news or bad? Good news. Oh, very, very good. Then you've located the, the daughter of the old gypsy. No, but it don't matter now. What do you mean? I went to Boston. And I asked King Johnny Romana if he knew where she was. And he said she was dead, dead like her mother. The one who cursed Count Petofi. I was afraid of that. You didn't mention Quentin's name to him, did you? Oh, of course not. Of course I didn't mention it. I said that, that there was there was a certain party who needed help, and then the two gypsy children. And what did he say? He knew a way, a sure way of ending the curse. And what is that? You will see, Barnabas. The end of Quentin's curse rests right here in this box. What is it? Oh, it is not an ordinary box. Every one of these carvings has a meaning. Ancient as the gypsies, Oh, it is a very precious box. Magda, spare me any of this gypsy nonsense. Nonsense? You think he would have given it to anyone? This box is very valuable. He only gave it to me because, because of the two gypsy children. <laughs> because Johnny, Johnny Romana, King Johnny always liked me a, a lot. And Jenny. He liked Jenny more than me. Magda, show me what's in that box. Yes, Barnabas. Now, now is the time. Magda, I don't understand. How can this thing end Quentin's curse? It is no ordinary hand. Well, just what sort of powers is it supposed to have? When the moon is full, just before the curse seizes Quentin and turns him into an animal, we will lay this hand on Quentin's heart, and it will draw the curse from him. And Quentin will be cured forever. As simple as that. The strongest magic is always the simplest.
But you, you can't go. Got to. Oh, Pansy, this is terrible. The way things worked out, and it ain't been all roses for Pansy, you know. Psychic powers take it out on a girl. Pansy, if you stay with me, oh, I'll give you a big house. I'll buy you beautiful clothes. Oh, we'll even go around the world together. Sorry, love, it's time for Pansy's farewell. But you can't go. You can't stop me. The show must go on. And what a revealing show it's going to be. What do you mean? Come and see for yourself, love. Come and see. The vampire! Hidden by day, stalking by night, killing those who cross his path. Pansy will tear away his mask. Pansy will find his hiding place and put a picture of it in your mind. Concentrate. Concentrate. Is an image forming? Oh, I can't tell yet. Don't fight it, love. See it with your mind, with your inner eye, your psychic soul. See it. See it. I see it. But I don't understand. Uh, the picture of the mausoleum. What does it mean? Who, who will I find there? Oh, you must tell me more. There is no more tonight. Or any other night. My music, please! Oh, thank you. For you, gonna dance your cares away. I'll do the hoochie coo and the tower of Boulier. I'll sing a happy song. We'll dance the old night long. When the music begins, I'll give you some spins. I'll even get the Derek Wilkins was destroyed. There's no need to, to have any reason to suspect that there's a vampire at Collinwood anymore. You're very lucky that they caught him so quick. I knew they would. He was not at all clever, but he served his purpose. I will be able to sleep here tomorrow. You're sure you'll be all right, huh? Quite sure. I don't know. I got the feeling. No, the hunt is over. I'm safe now.
that I should come to this century and find you so like Josette and lose you. And that I should be the one responsible for putting you here. Will we meet again? Will I have a chance ever to right this wrong? Very touching, Barnabas. Angelique, what are you doing here? I watch over you. There is no need for you. Isn't there? I'm I'm sorry. You surprised me. Don't go. I must. Barnabas, listen to me, just. It's almost dawn. I must go, you know that. You are responsible for this, you and your curse. Barnabas, listen to me. You have very little time left here. What do you mean? I told you once that you might be trapped here in the past. You refused to believe me then. Now it's almost too late. I must come with me back to your own time. Now? I would, I would not ask you if I didn't know it was necessary. I can't. I haven't done what I came here to do. Forget about that. I can't. Not when I'm beginning to learn so much. Not when it's within my reach to have what I need to know to, to save David and Chris Jennings. Let them save themselves. They can't and you know it. David will die and Chris Jennings will keep on as an animal. I must help them. Barnabas, this is your last chance. It would be useless to, to ask you to explain that, wouldn't it? Trust me. Just this once. Trust me. Forget about the past. And I will too. Barnabas, please. Is it so terrible what I face? You would rather face anything alone than commit yourself to me. That's it, isn't it? All right, then, do it. Do Angelique. it. Angelique. Why do I always think that you will change? Why do I think that you'll remember how I have helped you in the past? Go on, Marvis. Go on. Yes, I must. back. A gypsy fresh from her mission of mercy. <laughs> Come in. Shut the doors. You must speak softly, Magda. These walls have ears. And what you have to say to me must be heard by no one else. Isn't that right, Magda? You do have something to say to me, don't you? Well, well, what? 
Oh, the same old Magda, cruel to the end. No, quite. Yes, cruel. <laughs> so, you visited with your tribes, and you compared notes on, uh, on picking pockets, and the newest way in telling fortunes, and you exchanged your secrets of all of your curses, and you all laughed. <laughs> well, how they must have laughed when you told them that you had turned a Collins into a werewolf. No, I told no one but King Gianni Romana. <laughs> oh, well, I'm impressed, the king. <laughs> well, did he sign a decree? Did he offer a royal proclamation that all curses were to end, did he? You're drunk, Quentin. I will come back when you have slept it off. <laughs> you hate to tell it. It must be good news. Is it? Is it? Then tell me what I have to do. Is there a potion I can take? Give it to me now. Why not? You've got to. Do you have any idea what it's like sitting here, waiting, counting the days until there's a moon that's full? Quentin, you've got to wait until then. Is this one of your jokes? Are you playing more games? No, no, I ain't. Ah! I don't believe you, Magda. But. <laughs> When, when the moon starts to rise, there, there is a ceremony I, I, I can perform. But it can be done at, at no other time. Let go of me. Why are you willing to help me? Tell me, why? Oh, ain't it enough that I'm willing to help, Quentin? I have brought a precious relic, a miraculous hand. I will put on your heart, and it will draw the curse from you. Oh, I have broken many of our laws to bring it here. Believe that. Are you sure it will work? I would not have stolen it if I was not sure. <laughs> and what does stealing mean to you? Nothing. You would take the chains from my pockets right now if you could. Now, why don't you admit to me the real reason why you're suddenly on my side? Hmm? I did not know. did not know. What? What? That, that I, I, I would remember how much Jenny loved you. <laughs> <laughs>